A whole lot of Ashland Legion baseball took place this past week, and right now we will get you updated on all the action. On Monday, July 9th, 7 and 2 Ashland Legion baseball hosted Natick, bottom of the third. One on, two outs, Lewis Rossi at the plate. Fans are getting Lynn Ruley here. I don't know if that late back call by the uh, 077 bench is just deception as this is driven into center field. That'll drop down. Ben Thomas waved around third. The throw in is not going to be close and it's 1-0 post 77. An RBI single for Lewis Rossi. My favorite player. I say it every game. Rossi drives in Ben Thomas and that is all Ashland would need. Post 77 added two more runs at the bottom of the sixth and took the 3-0 shutout win over Natick. Shane Leary went the complete seven-inning shutout, striking out three and giving up only three hits. Happy here with head coach of Ashland Post 77, Derek Johnson. Coach, a terrific performance out there, a great pitching performance by Shane Leary. Uh, he gets the complete game shutout win. Can you talk about Shane Leary's performance out there today and this team as a whole? Oh, Shane was awesome today. Uh, he pitched against him the first time we played him, did really well. I thought he did a lot better today. Um, you know, it's the second time out starting for us. You could tell the velocity was up there. But just like um, today, you know, our team ERA, we were talking just now that it's a two. Like, our pitchers have been, I think there was 14 ground ball outs um, up till now in the season. They don't give up too many fly balls. You know, they keep the ball down, a lot of ground ball outs, and that's what he did today, um, which is huge. It makes it easy for our fielders. We made the plays, and, you know, I think he was at maybe under 90 pitches for the whole game, which is, you know, really efficient, which, you know, can't ask for anything better than that. Go full game, keep it under 100 and a bunch of ground balls. Coach, you have uh, six home games left, two away games, and you're 8-2 and two right now. How does that feel? This team just must be uh, very confident in the talent that's in that in, that's in that dugout. Yeah, no, we're really confident. We feel like we can uh, repeat last year, if not do better. Um, we've talked about, you know, if we don't get back to the state tournament, we'd be underperforming this year. We have the talent that's, if not the same, if not the same, better than last year. Um, you know, we had a good test at the beginning of the season with seven on the road straight, came back out of there, and, uh, you know, eight and two, and this is technically our second home game. So, you know, this week we'll determine how we finish the season, and, you know, it's nice to be home, but we got to capitalize on that. Well, Coach, we're looking uh, forward to a fun week of home games. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. All right, Tom Nappy here with Shane Leary. Shane, you win a complete game today. You gave up no runs. Uh, how does it feel to go complete game uh, shutout against this good Natick lineup? That came into today, seven and four. Feels good. Um, my field backed me up. Uh, my infielders made a bunch of great plays. Uh, that's all I could ask for. Pitch strikes and get get ground balls, and that's how we do it. It's a good game. Yeah, there was a lot of great uh, defensive plays by the infielders, as you mentioned, especially in the second base and shortstop <laughs> area. Uh, can you just uh, talk about uh, Cole Glassburn as well as um, Jackson Hornung's performance out there yeah, today? Cole Cole was great. Um, it seems like every ball was going to second base today, which I every ball that was hit, I was like, oh, Cole's got it again. But they did a great job, backed me up, and that's all a pitcher can ask for. It's a great game. And it seems like you guys have a lot of chemistry in there, a lot of new faces from last faces. year, but it seems like a lot of chemistry. How do you like playing with this group this Love year? It. Uh, this is my first year playing Legion, and I wish I played later, uh, earlier, as I would say. But um, I came onto the team. They welcomed me. A bunch of new guys came on, too, and kind of started from the beginning and now our chemistry's there we're rolling that's all we can ask for all right well hopefully uh, many more games to come and it's certainly good to have you this year congratulations on a great performance out there today thank you appreciate it thank you guys on tuesday july 10th post 77 took on hudson one to one in the top of the sixth carter drummond at the plate for hudson brother waiting on deck and this is up the third base side that's going to get through and Hudson post 100 has a two to one lead. An RBI single for Carter Drummond. Drummond brings in the go ahead run and lifts Hudson to a two to one win. It was a great pitcher's duel between Ashland's Ben Fink and Hudson's Johan Asensio. On Wednesday, July 11th, Ashland hosted Newton. Post 77 adds on to their one nothing lead in the bottom of the second. Line up in the pitch. 
And this is sent over to left field way deep. And that is going to drop near the wall and get down. Heading over to third is Pesson. Here he comes to score. It is a 4-0 lead for post 77. And now Thomas advancing to third on the errant throw. And he's safe. Post 77 adds three more in the inning and led 4-0 until the top of the sixth. Newton would drive in three runs in the top of the sixth to make it a 4-3 game, but in the bottom of the inning, Zach Pesson helped put post-77 fans and teammates at ease. And this is going to be hit in the air over to right center. That's going to get down for a base hit. Coming around is Sean Jewett. Another runner being waved around behind him. That's Brad Seymour. Two runs will score, and that's going to be a triple for Zach Pesson. A two RBI triple, and it's a six to three ball game. That coaching from Coach Johnson. Oh, done wonders for the Pesson boy. Two nights in a row, he creams it. A two run triple makes it six to three Ashland. And that's how the score would stay as post 77 improved to 9 and 3 on the season. On Thursday, July 12th, the Ashland post 77 weekend home continued as they took on Waltham. Waltham led 3 to 1 heading to the bottom of the second, but post 77 was able to scratch together some runs. No set to deliver. And this is up the middle, and the second baseman gonna bobble it. A run comes around to score the throw to first is in time, but the run has scored as Brad Seymour comes around to tie things up at three apiece. It's a piece of this one, and that's gonna go over towards the wall. That'll drop right before the wall. One run in, here comes another run. Hornung is gonna be stopped at second, and just like that, post 77 back on top. A two RBI double for Jackson Hornung. Waltham would only score in the first inning as Ashland took the game 14-3. Friday, July 13th, Post 77 took an undefeated 10-0 Lowell. Ashland got the scoring started in the bottom of the first. Ronan Bates hitting a 111 so far on the season, two for 18 at the plate. It's a piece of this one hit in the air over to right field and it is dropped and the lead runner going to come around and now a runner coming in behind him. The throw in is going to be cut off and then the throw home is in time. Post 77 plates a run. Dom Cavanaugh called out at the plate but it's one nothing Ashland. Then they added more in the bottom of the second. The opportunity here for post 77. And he crushes this ball over to left center. That's going to get down for a base hit. One run is in. Here comes Seymour to score. And the runner behind him is going to be stopped at third. It's a 3-0 post-77 lead. A two RBI double for Ben Thomas. Post-77 took the game 3-1 over Lowell. Luke Gustafson went six and two-thirds of shutout baseball, striking out eight. Andrew Sternick recorded the final out as Gustafson reached the pitch count maximum. With the win, Ashland improved to 11-3 overall. Tom Nappy alongside Luke Gustafson, today's winning pitcher. Luke, a tremendous start by you. Six and two-thirds of shutout baseball. How does it feel to have that kind of performance against a great team like Lowell? Uh, it's good. I mean, we wanted to show the other teams in the league that uh, we're uh, – we're the top of this league. Just because they're undefeated doesn't mean they're better than us. Uh, just went out there looking to throw strikes. Uh, let my team make some plays in the field, and uh, that's what we did today. So, and You just seem to be feeling it out there today. That curveball looked nasty. Uh, could you just talk about how you felt going into this game? Yeah, I mean, warming up in the bullpen, I could definitely feel it. It was moving a lot. So, uh, you know, I could throw it for strikes. I could throw it 0-2 down low. I was just trying to work it in different locations and stuff like that. And uh, felt good early on, so I just kept with it and turned out all right. And some nice plays made as usual by the defense. Yep. Uh, can you talk about the guys playing behind you today? Yeah, uh, I mean, when you're pitching and you have the defense that we have behind us, it's, it's much easier. Um, you know, you don't have to strike. You have to try to strike everyone out. You can, um, you know, if you're down the count, not necessarily try to come all the way back. Just hit a ground ball because you know you have the defense behind you to make plays. So. 
And you guys seem to have a lot of fun playing together. Uh, can you talk about what it's like to play with this group? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a lot of team chemistry. We're all from, it's different because we're all from different towns, but um, we have a lot of good kids on this team and we all work together. So uh, it's a lot of fun playing with these guys. All right, well, congratulations on a great performance out there today and looking forward to the rest of the season and hopefully a long postseason. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it.